Okay, guys, just want to take a quick second and talk um, real quick about the term porting. Um, I've had several people this week get a hold of me and, and not understand the term itself. Um, and I also just had it on this saw. This gentleman sent me this saw and told me that it had been ported by someone else. And in fact, this saw has not been ported. It's had an additional muffler port put on it, okay? Um, similar to like one of these. I may put a muffler port, an additional on to help the saw breathe, but that does not qualify as ported. Porting takes place inside the cylinder itself and can be a combination of grinding, machine work, piston work, okay? If the cylinder itself has not physically come off of the saw, it has not been ported, okay? So clarify when you're buying a saw from someone whether or not they literally just did a muffler mod and added a port to it, or whether or not it's actually had physical porting done in terms of timing, duration, potential machine work, piston work, etc., to the cylinder itself. Also, there is no such thing, at least in general terms, as boring a chainsaw or a two-stroke, okay? You'll ruin the plating inside of the cylinder by doing that. You only bore blocks like on a car or a tractor or something like that. There is no way to take this cylinder and bore it out to a larger diameter Nobody makes oversized pistons, at least readily available, okay? Th that would be major custom work to get done. So um, the term boring, I hear a lot. Well, you know, how, how many cc's is it gonna be when it's done? It's gonna be the same cc's, okay? We're not changing the displacement of the motor. Um, that's, that's something that's reserved for like a more typical, um, either larger two strokes you will see those in like dirt bikes snowmobiles stuff like that where they support oversized pistons um, and they may not have nicosil or chrome lined cylinders um, but in the chainsaw world specifically okay nobody is boring it out um, dino joe has played around and i think now has like a an oversized 661 um, but n nobody else in general is boring out cylinders um it, it's just not cost effective it's not feasible to do on a regular basis so um in any case there's a lot more that i can get in depth on but i hear those terms thrown around a lot and i thought it might help to have a little bit of clarification on what those actually mean um, and if you're buying a saw from someone making sure that you're getting what it is you think you're getting so anyhow that's all have a good night